Hello, all targeted individuals. I send out my love to you. I, I firsthand know your pain and your suffering because I experience it on a daily basis. So I want to talk about meditation and how about a decade ago, roughly, God led me into meditation, something I do not like doing. But God made me aware that he is light. I believe God is made up of light. And God is love. And God led me to meditate on the word love, written in light. Um... I don't know if this can be helpful to other people. I hope that it can. You know, I feel the need to let you know that I'm a born-again believer. I believe in the Bible. I believe Jesus is the Messiah. I've been filled with the Holy Spirit. Before I became aware that I was being targeted, and before I was being targeted aggressively, I was also flooded with light. God flooded me with light to the very quanta of my being. So... I tap into his presence when I meditate on the word love written in light. Today, this morning, a maintenance guy who my my housing so, social worker, she says, oh, he couldn't harm a fly. He's an angel. He wouldn't be using EMPs on you. But anyway, he was using EMPs on me. He was clearing out snow in, in front and around my unit and taking his sweet-ass time. And every time he'd stop, he'd hit with the shovel and he'd hit me with EMPs and I could fill them. And what the Lord led me to do, praise his holy name, was to meditate on him. Meditate on the word love, written in light, and talk to him. And they were hitting me for like an hour, him and then another neighbor. When, when that neighbor leaves, he always slams his door so I can hear. And right after he'd slam his door, he'd come outside and... Sometimes he can hit me through the wall, and sometimes he can hit me from outside. They were hitting me with these EMPs, or directed energy weapons, or active denial systems, all the same, same thing. And as I meditated on the word love, written in light, and, and prayed to God, the effect of them began to go down. They can cause my eyes to start fluttering, they can be physically painful, they can cause headaches, but God made them to start going down. Because I wanted to run outside and attack him. You know, and that's what they want. They want me in jail. They want me in jail. And um, law enforcement, police officers, they are so behind this. And they so agree with participating in this. They'll try to pretend that they don't even know what an EMP is, that I'm crazy. Because I've gone to the police many times. And I did some research and found out that law enforcement has EMPs. They're not supposed to be using them. The courts don't let them use them because they can be... They can be deadly. They can cause heart attacks. They can cause blindness. They can cause internal burns. And since they overuse non-lethal weapons like tasers and they kill people with them, the court said, well, you can't use these either. We don't want you overusing them and killing people. So they pretend like they don't have the many, many law enforcement, many police officers, many of them have these. And when I've gone to them, they try to pretend like that doesn't even exist. And fortunately, I went online and found out, oh my God, secure, many security officers have them. So I can't turn to law enforcement, but I can turn to the God of the Bible. And meditating on him, on him in this way helps a lot. And more than anything, it helps keep me from going off. Well, first off. Second off, it does reduce the physical pain and the physical symptoms of these EMPs. They hate me. They hate me because they can't defeat me. You know, they managed to get me on the street to get me homeless. My family participated in this, in gaslighting me, in stalking me, in mocking me while I was on the street. They, I was in a mental hospital for a week. They told me they, I, they were never going to let me out. God rescued me from that mental hospital. My family came and tried to get me to sign my power of attorney over to them. I was praying, speaking in tongues, preaching the word of God, and driving the staff crazy. They, they were abusive to me twice, wrestled me down, threw me in a room. This is all illegal, by the way. They forcibly injected me to sedate me. Um, and I would sing Christian music, praise music, and, and I told them God is going to get me out of this place, and God did. Two of the patients there, who, one of whom harassed me constantly, 
Well, the staff mistreated many of the patients. I was the worst, but they seriously mistreated other patients. Some of these patients were harassing me, but one of them took my side because I stood up for him against one of the staff members. <laughs> Another patient who was legitimate and was not harassing me knew something was wrong. He took my side. They ended up sending everyone at this wing of the mental hospital home. I didn't sign any papers. I'm not signing my power of attorney over to anyone. And they hate me because God got me off the street. God got me into transitional housing. God got me out of California where it was worse. The bigger the city, the more people there are to participate in this gang stalking. The more people there are that can be enlisted in this gang stalking. And apparently this gang stalking, it has been prosecuted under the RICO statutes, organized crime. But um, so far I haven't had anyone in law enforcement that will help me. So God does, and God is using their evil to cause me to meditate on him in the way that I just described more and more, because ultimately when I asked God, well, how often do I have to meditate on you? He answered me by showing, by allowing me to stumble across a video by a, a Buddhist sage, okay, not a Christian, not someone who believes in the Bible, but a Buddhist sage who was so serene and so confident, and he was in his 80s and looked like he was in his 30s and was so wise and he talked about meditation, and he said that he meditates at all times. And that was God's answer. I have to meditate on him at all times. And I have a rebellious heart, a stubborn heart. If these people weren't doing this to me, I wouldn't be meditating on him. I have to run to him for safety. He's like a mama eagle or a papa eagle that spreads his wings over the nest during the storms. And he absorbs most of the storm. And I've had people uh, at churches that I barely went to who have told me this, and I've known it. Um, because God is the only reason I'm alive. But they hate the fact that I was homeless. They thought I was going to commit suicide, and they failed. I escaped California, went to Florida, then came to Cheyenne, Wyoming. And they, they're angry, but God is raising me up. God is going to put a stop to this. God is going to expose the deep state and all the people that they pay and that they coerce and that they play with their minds. They turn their minds against us. They tell them that we we are suspected of murder, you know, in other states, or that we're child molesters, or anything of that nature. They'll do to coerce them to participate in this gang stalking. God is going to expose them. God is going to put a stop to this. And God is going to neutralize them, and God is going to destroy them. And, and they hate me saying this. This is, I, can, I can't believe I'm doing this recording, and I don't hear engines blaring. I don't hear horns they're not honking horns. They're not driving past fast. For some reason, they're not. They've stopped. Why? It's because of the Lord. When they were hitting me with the EMPs, God distracted them and has has distracted them for quite a bit. So I'm I'm freely able to do this video. Hey guys, if you got this far with the video, please share it. Please like. Please subscribe. Okay. Please hit the bell icon so that you get future videos. To all of you TIs, your suffering's real. Your pain's real. I send out my love to you. Yes, you hear me wanting to cry because I understand your pain because I go through it myself. And your pain is real. It's not to compare because we're all going through the same stuff. It's to let you know I understand and I sympathize with you. And I send you out my love. God bless. Wish you all the very best.